Hello again ladies and gentlemen. Today's video is a quick explanation on the changes to the quest system in Arcane Odyssey. I'm hoping to reach 800 subscribers before the 1st of April, so if you find this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. Let's begin. One of the biggest changes is the removal of the level lock on certain story quests. This means that you no longer have to grind to a specific level in order to continue the story. Of course, there will still be level recommendations for these story quests, but there will be no barriers to completing them. However, the quest to reach Mount Orthrus is still level locked, so this system will still be used for awakening quests. Repeatable quests have been completely removed. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, no more Frost, Brigand, Bandit beating like we're playing Blocks Fruits. Repeatable quests originally existed as a means to cross the gap between the leveled lock story quests during early development, where there were virtually no sources of EXP. Now that both level lock story quests have been removed, and that there are many alternatives to quests for gaining EXP, all quests are no longer repeatable. As compensation, all previously repeatable quests have had their EXP rewards bolstered. For example, the the Dueling Mage quest has had its rewards multiplied by five. Finally, a new quest type known as Tutorial Quests have been implemented. These quests are not part of the main story, but are compulsory nonetheless, in order to teach you how the game works. There are currently two, one to cook a meal before leaving for Frost Mill, and one to buy a sailboat before leaving for Stepstones. That's all for today's quick update. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with the latest Arcane Odyssey news. Bye.